The Microsoft Elite Series 2, one of my favorite premium controllers on the market currently. Scuff, the first custom and premium controller company, but kind of fallen behind their competitors here recently. What do they have in common? This is gonna go inside of this. Maybe not inside, but we got some performance bolt-ons for this bad boy. Let's treat this thing like a Honda Civic and slap some random parts on it. Let's get it. Alrighty, Stallions, over here at the Stormtrooper desktop, as always, I gotta say the Microsoft Elite 2 is still one of my favorite controllers. The only issue or con that I see is the QC or quality control issues, what they allow to slip out of the Microsoft factory on the Elite 1 and 2 is simply unacceptable. However, on this one, I have had zero issues thus far, and I did own an Elite 1 for almost two years of heavy use on the Xbox One X and the PC. No issues, so maybe I just got lucky, but I do know for a fact they did have a lot of issues with gummed up face buttons, breaking bumpers, as well as stick drift. Other than that leering issue, the Elite 2 is an absolutely phenomenal controller. If you would like to hear my full thoughts on this controller, there is a comprehensive review linked in the description below. No, I don't usually have the box just sitting here. That's just for YouTube ambiance, if you will. As you stallions or stallionettes may or may not know, this does have magnetized thumbsticks, and there are very high options available, so you don't really need aftermarket control freaks. And this is the only controller on the market that actually has adjustable thumbstick tension. Yeah, that's an option on other controller companies such as Controller Chaos and Battle Beaver, but that's an expensive option and that's on constantly. As for this, you take a little tool and adjust between three different levels of resistance. So you don't need precision rings from Control Freaks either. You can add them. Granted, this is a very long stem or shaft on this analog stick, so you would need to double or triple up on these rings for it to actually make contact with the front shell, but we don't need these. But two accessories that both happen to be from Scuff, not sponsored by them or anything like that. Bought these with my own cash and everything, but two specific accessories or mods that are meant for the Elite 2 are these Scuff thumbsticks and these paddles, both of which are magnetized and pop on very easily. So I will say I do like these six included options for thumbsticks. I have a short domed on the left and a tall concave on the right. And that works great for me. I have the resistance maxed out on the right stick. And generally I turn my in-game sense up about three above default. First of all, I think the packaging on both of these accessories is very nice. You have orange because that is Scuff or Corsair's brand color. And then of course, lime green as it is a licensed Xbox accessory. You do not need scissors or a knife for this box. It has a pull tab, lift it up like that. Now, if you want, you can keep the box obviously to store these bad boys. They do have little foam cutouts in there for putting your thumbsticks in there. And then at the bottom, you will have a little instruction pamphlet. If you need instructions on how to install magnetized thumbsticks, Interesting choice here, Scuff. So you have two short concave sticks, a medium concave stick, and a tall dome stick. So that's very interesting that the only high stick they offer in this kit is domed. I personally do prefer dome sticks over concave to have all the way back to the PS2 era, but I know a lot of people, in fact, I would say the majority of controller gamers out there prefer concave. That's what's came standard on the Xbox and PlayStation consoles for two generations now. Let's go ahead and put a short concave on the left and a tall dome on the right. Tall dome stick is actually a few millimeters shorter than the tallest stock stick available in the packaging for the Elite 2. I don't know, I'm leaned out like here, I'm about to take a nap or something. So here's what I will say. I absolutely love the feel of these. They're not only more comfortable than the stock sticks, but they also provide substantially more grip. And that is because, that is because of Scuff's patented rubber or silicone. This is the same rubber that they use in their grips and their thumbsticks on their controllers. And it feels phenomenal. Now I will say it was kind of an interesting decision for them to only include four sticks not six, like you're getting out of the box with the Elite 2. And even further than that, it was a very, not just interesting, I would say a, a, a poor decision on Corsair's side to only include one tall stick and for that to be domed. They should have included two tall sticks, one domed, one concaved, and instead of just two short concave sticks, especially for the price, I feel like they should have included six analog sticks. Uh, I just don't understand it, but they do feel Really good, a big step up from stock or OEM or factory, which is saying a lot because I actually do like these stock sticks on the Elite 2. How about these paddles though? I am a big fan of the Elite 2 paddle design. The Elite 1 was good, the Elite 2 is great. They take about 30 to 40% more resistance to actuate the switches, so you don't accidentally hit them. They are magnetized, so if you only wanna play with two, you know, on the top or bottom, or maybe you're playing a game that doesn't require paddles, period, you can remove them, and 
they have been shortened quite substantially or shaved down from the Elite One, so they're tucked up out of the way of the shell, and when you're holding it naturally, you can cover all four buttons, or paddles I should say, at the same time. Scuff's current design, you, you can't really comfortably cover all four of the paddles, you have to hold them like this. The guy from Scary Movie 2, it's weird. I am a big old fan of the stock paddles, like I mentioned, but if these are better, anything that can make the Elite 2 even better than it already is, awesome. And if the rumors are true, like I mentioned in my recent review of the Elite 2, that Microsoft has fixed the quality control issues with this, then this is literally like my favorite controller for Xbox. Also, the packaging for this is very nice as well. So it has some laser cut foam in there for your paddles. So if you want to keep this just for storage in case you ever do go back to your standard paddles, although honestly, you could probably just store your stock paddles back in the carrying case as they do have little cutouts or slots inside the carrying pouch. Hmm. These are almost perfect. Why do I say almost? Well, if I show you from this angle here, you can see how far they actually are off from the back shell. Now, if these were shaved down a few millimeters to where they're more flush with that back shell, that'd be good for two reasons. One, you wouldn't accidentally actuate them because they're up against the shell. And two, I think it would force your hands into a more natural resting position, at least for most standard North American hands. These are almost perfect though. These are, these are good. These are good paddles. Kind of rare to hear me say scuff and good paddles in the same sentence. Keep in mind, I've tested many models from Scuff. They have one of the poorest paddle designs on the market. No offense, Corsair representatives, if you're watching, or Scuff fans, if you own three Scuff controllers or something, um, they're not terrible. As far as the ergonomics and durability of their paddles, not not great. These are sick though. These, these, I gotta get some stick time with these though before I give my final judgment. So I think the best way to compare the dimensions and overall ergonomics of these two is to have them both installed at the same time like that. So I think you can tell the biggest difference, not like this, but like this. Now, if we look at it from the back, you can see there really isn't that big of a difference as to how you were actually going to activate these paddles. Both of them feel rather comfortable and natural and both of them can be covered simultaneously while you're holding the controller as you normally would. The Microsoft paddles that are actually designed for this controller, you know, the R&D that's gone into designing this controller, taking all of the feedback from the community that use the Elite One controller to make this the next version, the next upgrade, the next evolution of that controller. One of the things that people complained about was that the paddle stuck off the back shell too far. So these ones are almost flush, as, as close as they can be to the back shell, which the scuffs, which are a third party bolt on, so not OEM or factory, stick off pretty dang far. And you feel that, it almost pushes your hand out at a somewhat unnatural cocked angle. That was an exaggeration, it's nothing like that. It still feels comfortable, but it doesn't feel as comfortable as the Elite 2. And for the bottom paddles, I actually do prefer the stockies, but I prefer the upper paddles of the scuff. Let's see if we can intermingle them. Unfortunately, you can't, but that'd be kind of nice because I actually prefer the feeling of the scuff upper paddles, but the Elite 2 bottom paddles. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more stick time with these bad boys before I can give my final verdict. Alrighty, Stallions, forgive the mess in the gamer heaven right now. I've got a bunch of PC components around here from the case swap of the Alienware Aurora R11, but I wanna talk a little bit about my final verdict, my thoughts on the scuff paddles for the Elite 2 controller. So there is no average hands. Everyone's hands are slightly different length and girth and width, and you might have a, a wart or a mole on your hand that I don't have that makes paddles feel different to you. But I do feel like my hands probably feel paddles the same as a lot of you guys and girls. Uh, for me personally, I get more comfort and also more of a sense of knowing if I'm activating the switches or not with the standard Elite 2 paddles, which, you know, if you're gonna be spending, how much, how much were these bad boys? 20 bucks on something, then it's gonna have to be better than the standard, than the original, the OEM, than what comes with your premium controller. But the word is just in, in, the, in the title there, premium controller. It already comes with a pretty good set of paddles, six thumbsticks, which leads me right into the next point, which would be the thumbsticks. Because Corsair or Scuff decided to only include four thumbsticks, which again is a $20 kit, they should have included six sticks, or if there are gonna include four, they should have done away with one of the uh, short concave sticks in lieu of a high concave stick, because the fact that the only high stick offered there is a dome stick, and it is actually quite a few millimeters shorter than the tallest available stick on the Elite 2, I feel like that's gonna make it a no-buy for a lot of 
competitive players or not even competitive players, even console casuals that want to have the most accuracy out of their controller when they're playing COD or Apex or Fortnite or whatever they play. I, I feel like both of these products are good, but they each have something holding them back from being recommended by me to actually purchase for $20 a piece. For example, the paddles are too far off the back shell. If they could shave them down to where they're closer to the back shell to where they don't have that extension on there, they'd be great. And they'd be worth $20 in my opinion. Also, maybe if they offered them in some other colors too, besides just uh, brushed silver, if they also had kind of a gunmetal gray, a black, maybe a red, I think that'd be kind of cool. The thumbsticks, I I've said enough there. You should have, if for $20, you should have six sticks. If you're not gonna do that, that's fine, four, but do away with one of the short concave sticks for a tall concave. A few millimeters taller to match the Elite 2 stock sticks. So as of now, I can't recommend purchasing any of these because they're nothing that I would spend $20 on after testing them. If you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you to make a decision, Decision. Liking the video will help it to get seen by more people, so this information will reach and assist them as well. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing, esports drills to help you brush up on your skills, and honest gaming peripheral reviews, kind of like this video. I'll see you tomorrow. So I upload daily. Peace.